Welcome guys to The Points. So, we're going to go through this from the beginning here and we're going to analyse how things have been looking so far and maybe where things are going to go for the finals. So, let's start from the beginning. So, round one, Nürburgring. Let's start with lobby one. So, of course we see here, Marge and John Boy both battling up here with Grandpa shortly behind. So that's P1, 2 and 3. See JDP, Gaz, Heatseeker, Ant Smasher, Crazy Spaniel, Blitz and Gaby Baby 09 are in the mix for lobby one. You can see their fastest lap set by G Marge. And looks like pole position also is is by John Boy. So this gets them actually quite a lot of points. Um, hence how they're top P1 and P2. And if we go on to lobby two here, so this is one that we've seen earlier on in the season. It looks like we are currently sitting in P3 for the first race. And then of course on top of us is Shift MP2, Roxilla in P1. Of course Roxilla also sets the, it starts on pole, finishes on pole, happy days. But we set the fastest lap, so that's three extra points in our pocket right there. And then of course below is Gurnell, Vest, McFlurry, Kevman, Danny, Sneak, Mackie and Chris. So these are pretty much people that we played this before, plus a couple of extra new faces, but it all st starts kicking off at Catalonia. So, starting with lobby one for this one here. So, E97 in in a P1 with Roxilla and John Boy in P2 and 3 respectively. And you can see there, I get the fastest lap once again. That's two weeks running. That's uh, another three po points in the pocket. With Roxilla once again finishing on pole. Maybe starting on pole as well, not too sure. <laughs> but as you see there, those results mirroring each other. However, this time I finish in P4. Then you got JDP in P5, Golf Knight in P6, Sneak in P7, it's pretty fast by the way, uh, Kevman in P8, Vest in P9, you got Chris, Heatseeker and Crazy Spaniel in 10, 11 and 12. And that's pretty much gonna do it for Lobby 1. However, Lobby 2, as you see there, we've got some similar suspects there. So Marge, Shifter and Gurnell in P1, 2 and 3. You can see there, Grandpa in 4th, got Gaz in 5th, Lucky Bucky in 6th, Blitz in 7th, Mackie in 8th, 9th is Ant Smasher, Gaby Baby is P10 and Danny is P11. However, for fastest lap, it's once again Marge. And in addition, Marge started on pole and finished on pole, so that's an extra three points Marge picks up. So looking pretty intense at this point. But we go to Circuit de la Sarth, or Lemons, as you might like to hear it. So finally, me and Grandpa are in the same lobby for the first time this season. It does kick off a little bit, but of course we do remember from lap one, we start breaking away a little bit and different pit strategies, different tyre strategies. Sorry, that was my Discord there. Um, different tyre strategies. We had different ideas. And as you can see from the results there, so Rock Villa, P1 with the fastest lap and the pole position. So he gets six extra points in the bag. Of course, finish from P1 as well. Even more points. And then you got Shifter in P2. Myself, of course, in P3. And then going down the order. So Lucky Bucky in fourth, Kevman in fifth, Seth in sixth. I think this could have been Seth's first game in the series. It looks like that's the case, actually. So, then following on from that, you've got Grandpa, Mackie, Chris, Gabe, and Golf Nut Pro in their respective positions there, from P7 to P11. And in terms of Lobby 2, so, of course, we had a lot of a lot of fast races in that lobby as well. So, of course, look, John Boy, P1, who also got fastest lap, extra three points in the pocket, nice one. And E97 in P2 with the... Um, pole position I think I should really learn what that means shouldn't I um, of course in P2 and Nance Masher in P3 very good job sir that is a very good performance there and of course following on from that you've got Gurnell, JDP and Gr Grilla Gaz in P4, 5 and 6 respectively and then Marge, Heatseeker, Sneak and Blitz in P6 to P10 you can see that actually Marge drops down a little bit there so maybe not the best track for that car and Marge is in the Honda so of course we know it's a very quick car he's in the nice blue one of course as you might have seen from the intro there so of course it's all getting shuffled around a little bit there but here we go we go to Brands Hatch for Lobby 1 right here so we got Sneak in P1 he took it away and actually this was the qualifying yeah that's right yeah so this is qualifying results here so Sneak takes it away and then of course followed by myself I had a nice little battle with pretty much everyone on the grid there apart from Sneak sad times but we did get a battle at Catalonia so that was fun so of course we got Sneak, myself and Kevman in P1, 2 and 3. We got Roxilla, Adders, Grandpa, uh, Ant Smasher, Vest, JDP, John Boy and Gaby. So of course me and Grandpa in the lobby for the second time. Again I get the win on him there so that's 2 for 2 right now. 
you can see there Sneak gets the fastest lap of course this you know the minis was quite an interesting experiment in fact I like to call it mini mayhem because it was in fact a lot of mayhem lots of fun as well so then we lead it on to lobby two for qualifying for brands you see there Melty got P1 this was his debut match back in race asylum so he's already come back with a superb result followed by E97 who also got fastest lap there as well so that's an extra point in the bag and then McFlurry twist in P3 and then working our way down you got Danny shifter Blitz, Heat Seeker, and Gaz in, P's, uh, in positions 5 to 8. And then from 9 downwards, it's Lucky Bucky, Gurnell, Chris, Seth, and Maki Aris. So, moving on to the main event of that night, this was the race. So, we've got 30 laps here, and in lobbies 1, of course, you see there, Kevman, he got it. He got it in the bag. He got P1 right there, and he was battling with Sneak for quite a bit of it, and Roxilla after his recovery. So, there you go. Kevman in P1, Roxilla in P2, Sneak in P3. You see that Roxilla again with the fastest lap. He is one to look out for. He is a beast in the Nissan. Although don't let him near a Porsche. We've learned that from uh, season one. And working our way down the order there. So Grandpa, P4, myself, P5. It looks like Grandpa's got the edge on me here. Brands, my favorite circuit. So because of that, Grandpa gets the win on me. That's two, one to me, but it's looking very close right now. You've got JDP in P6. John Boy in P7, Ant Smasher in P8, Adders, Vest and Gabe in P9 to 11. That was Lobby 1. And then in Lobby 2. So we got TSM finished on pole with Shifter and Bucky just below. So that's podium right there, P1 through to 3. Then Melty finishes in P4, Danny in P5, Gorilla Gaz in P6, Blitz in P7. And then moving on, McFlurry, Seth, Gurnell, Chris, Rack. Mackie and Heatseeker in positions 7 through to 13 there with Lucky Bucky actually getting the fastest lap there so very well done we know Lucky Bucky is incredibly fast we had a good battle at, at Lemons or Circuit de la Sar, and that was a really good really good race and we know he's quick anyway so it's just even better to of course see him getting fastest laps there and then we're pretty much nearly up to date now so getting on to the next round so we're at Spa. So starting with Lobby 1 here, you can see Roxilla, Shifter and Gaz got P1s through to 3, with Roxilla setting the fastest lap and finishing in pole position. That's a 6 extra points on the table. And of course, going on from there, so Shifter and Gaz in P's 2 and 3, and then you've got Gurnell, Heatseeker and Smasher. They hate Melty in positions 4 through to 7, and then Mackie, Grandpa, JDP, and Gabe in the respective positions. Of course, what number was that? But we'll roll with it anyway. <laughs> and then in lobby two, so we you know this was a tough one. In fact, it wasn't one that I was massively experienced in. It's by the rain. However, starting with lobby one, TSM, he got pole position. He got fastest lap. He started in pole. He finished on pole, so he gets six extra points. With Sneak in P2 and McFlurry in P3. Sneak is sneaking his way up the order at this point, as you see from the results at the end of the videos. He's been definitely rising up on there, so we have to be on the lookout for him in the final. Um, and in addition to that, so Golf Nut Pro in P4, John Boy in P5, Blitz in P6, and then ourselves in P7. Not ideal that one, but we did beat Kev this time, so I suppose there is some compensation for that. Uh, we also beat Vest, Chris, and Adders. Although I think Chris and Adders may have had a disconnect. I'm not too sure. Maybe a technical issue there. Not too sure. But then that takes us to our most recent week here. Red Bull Ring, which you may already remember. But we're going to start with P1 this time because we've not... Of course, this is the first time we're going to be discussing the results. So, Shifter in P1, who also gets pole position. So he gets three extra points. Uh, Kevman in P2 and JDP in P3. These lobbies are a little bit smaller. But moving on, we got Gurnell in P4. Danny in P5, 6 is Sneak, Mackie in P7, and Golfner in P8. And of course, Sneak sets the fastest lap. So, Red Bull Ring, we've got to make sure that we look out for Sneak in the next one, whichever lobby he's in. And then moving on to our lobby. So, we know the results already, but I'm going to go for it anyway, just so you guys are all up to date. So, you got Melty in P1, who got fastest lap. He got pole position. He got that really nicely done. Um, and in addition, you've got Roxilla in P2 and John Boy in P3. Pretty intense. 
but we're going to go down the order here. So P4 is myself, Zafra in P4, Lucky Bucky in P5, which we just about got a couple of overtakes done at, towards the end there. So in, in addition, we also got E97 as well, P6, and we beat Grandpa. So that's three for one. Looking pretty close between me and Grandpa Goes Game, which if you haven't seen, I'll leave his channel in the description below. Make sure you check it out for his views on the videos. And then you've got Vest in P8 and Gabe in P9. That's going to do it for all the results, guys. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the finals. Wish me luck, and I wish all these guys luck as well. I don't know if any of them will be seeing this video, but this is going to be an intense race. I know it's going to be intense. So, yeah, we'll just see how it goes from there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the finals.